What's up, everybody? This is Ian Gallagher, Ableton Certified Trainer from Warp Academy. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a deep house bass, which has been appearing in a lot of different genres lately, including pop music, like this song right here. As usual, we're giving this rack away for free, so just click the link below, enter your email address, and it's yours. So now I'd like to show you how I went about making this rack. In addition to sounding like the Justin Bieber song, which was sort of my inspiration for figuring this out, I wanted it to be capable of a wide variety of tones and timbres and basically be very versatile and help you out no matter what genre you're playing in. So the first place to start would be with the algorithm. Because Operator is an FM synthesizer, we have the option of choosing different algorithms which tell the oscillators, which are these guys right here, how they're going to act towards each other. I don't really have time in this video to fully explain FM synthesis, so you might want to check out Vesper's Synthesis 101 for a real deeper explanation of this. But just suffice it to say for now that this is where you can change the routing of the oscillators in operator, which is therefore likely to change the sound you're getting. So there's all these different algorithm options, but for this patch, I'm going to choose this one, which means that oscillators B, C, and D are going to be modulating A, which is our carrier oscillator. Okay, with that first step out of the way, I'm going to choose group so that we can start assigning macros. All right, I'm pretty much going to be leaving oscillator A alone. So I'm going to start by mapping oscillator B's course control to the first macro. Just right or control click on it and choose map to macro one. Some color. And then in oscillator B, the decay to the second macro. And I'm just going to bring down the sustain on oscillator B. So we're going to get a really plucky sound that we can customize with our macros. And that sounds like this. Okay, believe it or not, that was the most important step in the making of this rack. And pretty much from here on, it's all icing on the cake. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did to oscillator B to oscillator C and D. Da, da, da. Give them some color. <laughs> Almost there. Now when I start playing around with these macros, you're just going to immediately hear that there are tons of possibilities for new bass sounds just by experimenting. You might also want to adjust the volume of your oscillators over here to your taste, but I think you can kind of just roughly pick volumes and you'll be fine. Okay, so so much for operator. 
after it, I'm going to add a string of effects. The first one is the dynamic tube, which just gives it a little bit of that warmth that we all love. Pretty subtle. All right, then a filter delay, which is going to give it some really quick delays that I'm panning hard left and right. Okay, and I'm going to macro map the volume of the delays to a macro called space. Now let's put a reverb on it to really give it some space. So we're also going to macro map the dry wet to the space macro, of course. Here I'm restricting the reverb to a maximum value of 50% wet. Now I'm putting an EQ, which is maybe a little unconventional, but I kind of like it in this part of the signal path because what I'm gonna do now is put a pretty big bass boost on the sound with a low shelf. And then I'm gonna put a high shelf on, but I'm gonna macro map this to our last macro. And this way you can really control the brightness of the patch because depending on what else is happening in your track, you might not want it to be too buzzy you might want it to be a little more in the background, so to speak. Finally, a little bit of compression just to tame some peaks. And that's my basic approach to making a deep house bass. But I'd love to know what you think. How do you make deep house basses? What are your thoughts? So please comment below, subscribe and like, much appreciated. And again, click the link below, enter your email address and download this rack from warpacademy.com. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.